Today's Cubase quick tip is all about snap to grid. So whenever I'm working with audio events or MIDI events and stuff, oftentimes I will want snap to grid on, but equally often I don't want it on. So the number one tip I would say is the uh, key command for turning snap to grid on and off is J. You see how it turns it on and off? The other thing is if you just want to quickly do something and not have the snap to grid on, if you just hold control while you have your selection being made. When I don't hold control, it snaps the grid. When I hold control and then do this, it does not. It temporarily uh, disables the snap to grid. And one last thing is you can actually assign that snap on and off to a MIDI controller. So I have the Steinberg's channel controller and there's a perfect little symbol that's uh, the little W symbol that looks like a grid mark and I have that set for the F7 under devices and device setup in the channel and F7 I have edit snap on and off and I can see I remember that this is the one that's going to be snap on and off because it kind of looks like a grid and then I have another one set for F8 for the auto scroll because it kind of looks like an arrow of an auto scrolling um, you can do that you can assign that to a MIDI controller of your choice I think it's easier to have it on the controller than remembering that J is the the key command but that's just personal preference so there you have it that's the quick tip for the day thanks for watching and bye bye